Hey guys, what's up? It's Meezy coming at you like vlog style for no reason at all except I've been trying to get this mic to work for the past hour um, and it's just nothing is working so let's just do a mini review on the Rode uh, Video Go mic. It's an absolute no. The craziest thing is that when I looked up on YouTube how to fix this issue, almost every single person said buy a new mic. Some people like changed some settings on their camera so I went ahead and did that. Um, but that didn't even really work for me. Also, I use my iPhone to film, so I turned off stereo recording for the sound, and it worked the first time, and I was like, oh my god, found the fix, boom, gonna upload this video, and I'm gonna be a star, baby. But no, I replugged my camera in to make sure it wasn't a fluke, and guess what? It was. So I really hope that the audio right now sounds good because I've had a few tests where it sounds crystal clear and then I've had some other tests where it sounds like trash. So I'm really sorry if you hear hissing in the background of this intro. I'm doing my best. Um, you can PayPal me. I'll let you know what my PayPal name is. You know, just DM me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Almizia. And um, that was a terrible wink. That was kind of bad too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just trying to get my whole setup together and I just clearly need to buy a mic. That's one of my biggest feedback things. But today we are going to be talking about how I became a software developer because this is actually a very requested video. A lot of people, a lot of people, okay, not just like one or two, like multiple people have DM'd me on Instagram or Twitter asking me how I became a software developer, what I did while I was in school, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we're doing today. I really hope this audio quality is good. Subscribe and let's go ahead and start the video. All right, so I think I should probably talk a little bit about my background first. Um, I've always been kind of a nerdy kid. I've always went to like talented and gifted schools. In middle school, in, in elementary, I was just in like the talented and gifted class, you know, the tag class. But in middle school is where you can like go specialize and pick what you want to do. So I went to the Dallas Environmental Science Academy. And at that school, it was more science focused. We had to take environmental science every year. We took like two, three science classes at a time. They would take us on these field trips specifically to learn about like environmental engineering practices and stuff like that. And we had a lot of fun, it was great. So in high school, I ended up going to the science and engineering magnet. And it's definitely geared more towards the engineering than the like just the science, like the pure science part, which I enjoyed because the older I got, I, I, I love environmental science. I loved that whole deal, but biology, oh Lord, AP biology, a whole other level. I really feel for you kids that are still doing that out there, you know, stay strong because your girl barely made it through those. Chemistry, stuff like that, I wasn't into it. Um, but we did have to take computer science in high school and we had to take AP computer science. We also had to take electrical engineering, which was an absolute nightmare for me. Um, so, and my computer science class was taught by a female, a lady, um, and so I did have that influence. I never really thought of it as a not for girls thing, but also in general for me, engineering wasn't a not for girls thing or science because I was already used to being one of the few girls, but at the time I didn't associate it with like that women were looked down upon. I just thought that, you know, less girls were interested in it. I don't know, I just knew I was there and one out of every three people in the room was a girl, but it didn't matter, we were all having a good time. So it comes time to apply for college. I've had a terrible time in electrical engineering. I hate chemistry. I'm not a fan of biology. I thought I was gonna be a zoologist uh, for a really long time or a veterinarian. I really wanted to do that, but then I was like, nope, mm -mm, can't, won't, won't. Not a can't, a won't. Uh, can't, can't do this biology nonsense. Won't, won't do it. So then I was like, you know, this computer science stuff, it's not giving me too much of a hard time. I wasn't 
you know, I wasn't a Mark Zuckerberg, but you know, your girl, she was, she was, she was getting the grades. She was passive. People was trying to ask me for my homework and change the answers a little bit so the teacher would notice. You know, we was good on that part. So I ended up applying to be computer science. I'm not sure why I never thought to apply for any other uh, type of engineering. Like I didn't want to be mechanical. Um, and I guess I feel like the big three are like chemical, mechanical. And when I was Ugh, my nose is itchy. When I was applying to school, petroleum was a really big thing. And as a person who just really cared about the environment, I wasn't with the petroleum. Like, what what was that about? Like, we're going to make a whole degree out of fossil fuels? That's backwards. Uh, so, I didn't want to do that. And, yeah, I ended up going to Texas Tech to do... do ugh, yeah. I ended up going to Texas Tech to get a degree in computer science. And let me just say for everybody that's in school right now, it is super hard. It's not easy. You might be around people in your classes that are like, oh, it's so, yeah, this is simple, blah, blah. If you think it's hard, it's okay. I was one of the people that thought it was hard. And when I really took a look around the room, a lot of the people that were in my classes, their parents were software engineers or their brother or someone close to them. I wasn't one of those kids. My parents, are not in like stem fields so i mean i'm doing this on my own it doesn't run in the family you know people in my family are smart but they don't do computer science and it's not like something you can just look at and figure out immediately um so just know that you are in that room because you are getting good enough to get into the room and you can do it it might take a while that's okay um, it only took me four years to get my degree, but I was literally in school nonstop. The only times I wasn't in school was when I was doing an internship. So yeah, like even during those winter breaks, I was doing mini masters and mini masters are hell. And I took data structures on a mini master. So shout out to me. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of questions that people have asked me in my DMs. Will you make a lot of money as a software engineer? It's a yes and a no. Um, you definitely will make a lot of money in comparison to other fresh grads. How much money you will make really depends on where you work. Obviously, if you work at a Facebook, a Google, you're going to make a very large salary. Something I will say to consider though, when you are thinking about where you want to go and what you want to do is like the quality of life and the work-life balance that you'll have. That's something that you should really ask about in your interviews because you could be making, you know, $120,000 coming out of school, but one, you live in San Diego. So, I mean, it's going right down. It's going to your rent payments, going to your landlord. And two, you're at work so much that you don't even get to enjoy your, your money. Or three, even if you don't always have to be, you know, grinding and at work all day, every day, you might just be getting like still too much work to where you like can't even enjoy your life. Like you just always stress about work. So definitely consider that when you're looking for jobs and just make sure you do internships and make sure you are talking to people and learning as much as you can. I know it's so cliche, but it's really important and it'll make future you very proud of past you and it'll make future you's life way easier um but don't try to take on too much but do enough do something my path to get my like to become a software engineer was pretty straightforward pretty standard there are some people that do um like the code camps and and some people just teach themselves and those things are definitely like they work and of course it's faster maybe not teaching yourself but going to a coding camp is definitely faster than going to school um but also it's like really intense and really fast paced and it's expensive for the time frame, right? In college, you might pay a, a ton of money, but you spread it out over the four years versus these co-camps, you gotta do it up front. Um, but, you know, just whichever path you take, I think one important thing is to make sure that you're learning actual computer science concepts and not just how to code. Um, 
I think a lot of newer people that are like trying to go into coding and this and that, they focus too much on the coding, like, oh, what language should I learn first? I want to learn the most popular language, that way I can get all the jobs, blah, 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 let me go learn React, this, that, and the other thing. If you know computer science concepts, then you can pick up any language. When I was in school, my first class, we used C, okay? Not C++, not C Sharp, C. The thing that came after A and B, all right? Um, and I thought that was weird, but I mean, look at me now. And then we also used Python, I used Java. And at work, I use JavaScript, which I never used in college, but it's like not completely foreign because at the end of the day, the only real difference between most languages is whether they're object oriented or not. And even then, like I said, the more that you work with just programming concepts and you're learning, it, it all starts to blend and you'll have to look up how to do a specific thing in any language no matter how long you've been in computer science, no matter how long you've worked at whatever job, I promise you the senior engineers Google things just as much as the junior engineers do. I feel like there's some other things that people have asked me that I'm not thinking about right now. I should probably check my DMs. I know money is one, motivation to stay strong. Let me, let me just share a tidbit on me being in school so obviously i am a girl and obviously i am black so i mean life is just a little different when you're me uh <laughs> so i'm in class and some things i just don't understand and sometimes you know it was a late night you're trying to get that homework done you miss some stuff so i went to office hours always go to office hours aside seriously Always go to office hours because sometimes teachers will cut you slack if they know that you're really trying and um, you're not sure what's going on, but you're working with them and they can see that you like actually are catching on and know what's going on and they're teaching you. You know, just get that extra time in, get to know them and things will get a little easier probably. But this one teacher, I don't know what his deal was, but I went to his office hours and I asked him a question and he was like, you know what? Some people just aren't cut out for computer science. Some people just can't handle it. I'm not sure why they admit everyone um, because everyone can't handle it. Maybe you should consider looking into something else. I asked this man a question about homework and he over here trying to be my um, ad academic, what do they call it? Academic advisor. Telling me to switch majors because I asked him a question. Um, and I say that to say that people will like try to get you to switch and try to put you down and you you can make it through. It will suck though. I have to say it was so hard. It was very tough. I spent many nights in the library of my school crying on the floor. I'm not gonna lie. It was not just like a one-off thing. It happened multiple times. I don't know. Um, I don't know what else to say. I don't. If you guys have more questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'll try to get more technical videos up. Just let me know what you want. I'll try to do some code tutorials and stuff like that. But if you have anything like software engineer specific, let me know. Maybe like a day in the life. Um, what we actually use at work versus what you have to learn in class. I don't know. There's a lot of things that I probably would have had questions about that I can't think of now because I do this every day. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.